Impressionism is an era-making art style in art history. It reached its peak in the 1970s and 1980s. Its emergency mainly consists of two historical reasons. First, changes in the physical world, such as the growth of railway systems in France and the invention of candid pigments. Second, People's thinking change at the time. Various ideological movements, for example, the February Revolution, changed the people's thinking pattern. The painters begin to pursue self-expression, different from formal painters who only serve customers. Therefore, it can be said that impressionism is an inevitable result of the era's promotion. Consequently, it is non-fungible and is the representation of that era by art. There are four conditions to be an impressionist artist. First of all, painters need to paint outdoors. The intense outdoor light will affect people's eyes, making the light, shadow, and color of things different in every moment. This leads to a short painting time, so the shots will become more chaotic and disordered. The second point is that artists focus on instantaneous of the things, so they often repeatedly depict the same things to observe the impact of different sunlight on the same things. The third point is that impressionist paintings usually have rich colors. During this period, people have deeper understanding of color. The development of technology and theory made people more aware of the role of light on the object's color. Therefore, the impressionist painters had a more complete understanding of color. Different from classical painting, impressionist work have richer color in the dark area. The fourth point is that those paintings are more unrestricted and full of painter's passion. These paintings do not have a fixed composition boundary and do not use color according to rules. Artists can fully trust their eyes and recall their true feeling about the world. Therefore, compared with classical painting, which only pay attention to techniques and formula step. Impressionist paintings are more non-fungible because they record the light and shadow, and the painting's feeling of a moment. These four points are the prerequisites for becoming an impressionist painter. It can be said that, for the concept of impressionism, these four points are non-fungible, and the rest are all fungible. However, for painters themselves, these four points are fungible. What is not fungible is the difference brought about by their life experience. These differences are displayed in every stroke of the canvas. Forming their own styles and being known by the audience. In a word, because impressionism is freer, it allows painters to express what they want freely. Therefore, we can say that it's not impressionism that shapes these painters, but painters that shape impressionism. Impressionism and its regulation gradually become fungible, and non-fungible things now become the growth background, emotion, and personal preference of painters. This is why impressionism has become a vital demarcation line in the art history. Since then, artists have stopped serving specific idea or theory, but have seen and recorded the world with their own eyes. This makes every artist and work more and more non-fungible. Each work represents a personal emotion at a specific moment that cannot be replaced.